Hey, what is going on truckers and truckettes? Elite drivers and super elites. What's happening out there, you guys? Hey, listen, we're gonna get into this video, man. This is going to be a safety talk concerning jackknife and the applications and causes to the jackknife and how you can avoid them through this explanation. Let's get it down. So what is a jackknife? Okay, some of you, especially the new drivers out there, uh, are thinking that a jackknife is when the trailer swings around. It's not a jackknife, it's called the trailer swing. Okay, a jackknife is when your drive tandems or your drive um, axles uh, swings from underneath the trailer apron and from out of your control. Okay, that is a jackknife. It forms a, a, an actual jack axe. Okay, that's a jackknife. And we're gonna let's get into the causes of the many causes of the jackknife. And we're gonna start from front to back of the many causes of the jackknife. One of the causes of the jackknife can be your fifth wheel, depending on the placement of your fifth wheel. If your fifth wheel is directly on the center axle, uh, that trailer in your load can force your drive axles or your drive tandems right up from underneath the trailer apron so when your fifth wheel is directly on that center axle okay you lose traction a lot of traction on the uh, last drive axle okay the first drive axle you lose a lot of traction there but let's go down this list your differential locks okay when you have your differentials locks and you're driving with your differentials locks on especially making a curve down the slippery surfaces or whatever because you have both those wheels locked i mean in some trucks it it, it, it has a semi-lock in some trucks um you have just the center drive axle and then it engages the back drive axle where you have them both rotating at the same time but only for a couple of seconds you know if you're going up a hill um if you uh need the extra pull you know it only engages for a few seconds but it mostly engages um that when both axles are engaging depending on a truck depending on a drive train the manufacturer both of those axles engage when you're taking off most of the times both of them engage um depending on a truck sometimes most of i believe uh, most of the modern if not all of today's modern trucks after 2002 actually does that okay so when you're driving and you're on a slippery surface and you're making a turn okay especially going down a hill because your differentials are locked in place you have too much rotation that is taking place so the g-force the the directional g-force is straight okay now when you're making that turn and you got both those tires rotating the way that they are and your differentials are locked up and both those tires are rotating and you're turning and turning and turning i don't know if you've taken a science class where your teacher would have you sit with a bike in your lap and you're sitting in a rotating chair and you start spinning that wheel right and then you tilt it and then you end up curving towards the direction that you tilt the wheel so uh, that's pretty much the science of behind uh, having a dif differentials lock because of the the, uh, the g-force rotation is too much g-force rotation when you have those differentials locked and it can cause you to jackknife it just your, your drives will swing out on their own okay it won't be forced out or anything like that it will swing out on their own so you want to make sure that those differentials are not locked and a lot of drivers especially the driver a couple of years ago who was training me uh which had his differentials locked in wet weather okay but i didn't know any better but now i do you understand what i'm saying so um let's move on down the list we got more more safety talk to talk about so the first cause that we have here is the setting of your fifth wheel you don't want to set the fifth wheel uh directly over the uh, main drive axle 
okay? It's either between the two, one notch over. All right? Between the two, one notch over, but you don't want it have it hovering above uh, your main drive axle. The second is your differential locks, okay? You don't want to have your differentials locked all the time, especially in wet weather. The third cause, the third cause to a jackknife is your tandem settings. Okay, now, this is important because there are, it's, it's, this is twofold. Because when you have more weight on your tandems, that has a tendency, especially with the overhang, your trailer will weigh down. It'll create, it'll create a seesaw effect, okay? Your, your trailer, the back of your trailer, the ass of your trailer will weigh down while the kingpin is somewhat lifting up the drive wheels off the ground. So let's say you're making a curve, you're making a turn or it's probably wet outside um, and you hit a crazy bump. You hit a nasty bump, you're making a turn and your drive tandems ends up going up, okay? Your drive tandems go up, they may not literally lift off the ground, but what takes place is they lose more traction, okay? And while you're making this turn, if you don't gain that traction back in time, you're gonna end up jackknifing. So you don't wanna have too much weight on your trailer tandems, okay? You don't wanna have too much weight on your trailer tandems. And I've gotten into critical debates uh, with other truckers out there saying that because when you're an owner operator, you don't want to put more wear and tear on your trailer, on your tractor. It's totally understandable, which is the reason why I've made videos concerning, because the wear and tear that they're talking about is um, damaging your shocks, wearing out your airbags, and wearing out your tires, uh, and disalignment of your drive axles. Okay, and my video clearly, you know, but my videos are trucking tactics, you know, concerning the preservation of your tires, your axles, uh, your shocks, you know, uh, your airbags and all that good stuff. You know what I mean? Um, well, actually not the airbags. The thing that I wanted to say about the airbags is that uh, if you keep your airbags uh, moist, uh, like oil down a little bit, you can get like an oil spray and just spray the airbags to prevent them from getting a dry rust um, or a dry rot taking place around them. Just spray the, spray your airbags down. You only need to do that like once every two months. You understand what I mean? But so that's what's on our list. We're going to keep going down. So make sure you keep your weight balanced, just a little bit more weight, probably 500 pounds, you know, uh, two, two to 500 pounds more on your drives. Plus, like I said in my other videos, you'll save a lot more fuel that way, okay? Another thing that, that okay, a lot of companies are gonna be mad at me for this one, but um, other jack, the majority of most jackknives that happens with any type of tractor are not big rigs, they're day cabs. How? Day cabs have a smaller drivetrain. Okay, if you look at FedEx, if you look at UPS trucks, uh, all those guys that do regional, dedicated regional or expedited regional, a lot of those guys, they drive fast like crazy. You understand? They wanna just get it going, get all the loads going. I mean, come on, many of these guys get paid by the hour. You know, so I don't understand the purpose of them speeding the way that they do. Because a day cab has a smaller drivetrain, uh, it's easier for a track for a trailer and its load, uh, especially if it's carrying a load as heavy as the loads that big rigs carry. Because it's a dual axle, it's even worse with a single drive axle. But because the drivetrain is so small, much smaller than a big rig, it's easier for the load to take over the tractor very easily in slippery, rainy surfaces, which is the reason why uh, companies like that, companies that operate day cabs, have to invest in some of the best tire traction manufacturers, okay? And when it comes to greasing the fifth wheel, it is extremely important for day cab drivers to grease that fifth wheel. Like I said in my previous videos, greasing the fifth wheel helps you gain better control okay not just ease of turning okay not just uh, 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 pre preserving your tire treads tire walls and not just preserving your axle alignments 
foot. But greasing that fifth wheel also helps to prevent you from losing traction as well. That's it, you guys. That was a good safety talk I had with y'all, man. I am about to count a couple of Zs. I probably won't even make it to three. But um, it was a nice safety talk with you guys, man. Deuces.